And welcome back to the Heart of Chaos. I'm Javier once again, and I welcome you back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, I made it through the beginnings of the Laneru region through the mines. And in this episode, we are going to explore the vast desert before us and hope to make our way to Zelda at some point. But I mean, there's so much to see here, and I want to point out that I've already probably pointed out a little bit in this series already that I despise most Zelda. Ah! Well, he's dead. Can I look at him? No, I didn't call for you, Fee. I wanted to check him. That in most games, I hate desert environments. Lanayru, the Lanayru region is one of those exceptions. In fact, most Zelda games have an exception because there's a theme around it around it that doesn't remind me of Egyptian culture. And oh my god, tumbleweed, 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 tumbleweed! I got it! You got a tumbleweed! The dried mass of plant material could come in handy. Might as well take it with you. So we got another treasure in our ba thing collection that we can put. And this is one of the few treasures you can collect with your net. I believe there's one other, if I am wrong. Well, we'll figure that out later, won't we? Now, I personally don't mind the Egyptian theme, but I'm not a fan of the music choice, and all deserts feel very samey to me when I hear that music. Now, this is very slight reminiscent to the, you know, the dry theme in a desert. And... I don't mind that. It's just the Egyptian portion that I'm usually double we double we double we double we that I don't mind. And you are a Ampelus. These monsters have inhabited the desert for eons. Their defining characteristic is an ability to internally generate electrical energy. Not sure why I paused there. It is also said that they live to a very old age. Their shells are able to disperse weight surprisingly well, allowing them to safely traverse desert sink sand. Also, he's going to run into me. Uh, Fee, we need to stop shocking now. And, uh, shocking you will just stun you. Uh, the best way to deal with these guys right now is to either parry them, or to have them run into a wall and then slice up them from there. Uh, I also love the pun in their name, since they generate electricity and their name begins with AMP. Tumbleweed, 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 oh. Damn it. Alright, alright, I'll deal without the tumbleweed. So we got to go explore, there's a treasure chest up there, and we'll get to that pretty easily. Um, those enemies do not respond here, but they will respawn in other areas, I will point out when. Uh, now, the cool thing I love about the Lani region, as we've seen before, the time shift zones add to a add to this area like no other desert has before. And the pure creativity behind this desert region is one of my favorite parts of this game. We will not see all of what it has to offer right now because Skyward Sword does something that we call the Metroid effect, where backtracking is pretty much key if you want to find everything. And a little bit of backtracking was required to complete the game. Alright, so we're gonna get another tumbleweed. Uh, that would be your first one if you were not aware you could collect them in your net. Tumbleweeds sometimes roll across the, the sand in Laneru Desert and other places. Tumbleweeds are used as a material to upgrade a variety of items. You can collect them with your bug net. Sorry about the cut, I had a coughing fit. Uh, that would be a perfect time to mention that uh, it is going to be spring. It is spring. But uh, it is going to be pollen season soon, and I am not deathly allergic to, but pretty allergic to pollen. Uh, I will hopefully be able to continue uninterrupted, but please apologize. I mean, I already have tons of delays, it's not even... I, I wanted to call myself, like, a consistent uploader, and I have been pretty good this past week. But I want to focus solely on Skyward Sword right now, and I've wanted to for a while... There. Because I can't have it easy, can I? I've wanted to focus on Skyward Sword and one Let's Play at a time, but with losing inspiration and things coming along that prevented me from recording, I've just had very bad luck, and I want to fix that. I mean, it's fun to record, and I enjoy it a lot. Even if the views, it's, it's fun for me, it's a great hobby, and I enjoy um, entertaining the people who uh, help. Enjoying, enjoy, uh, entertaining all of you people. 
Now, uh, these enemies, these are, uh... Technoblin. Technoblin. Yeah, they're called Technoblins. I've never actually done noted that. These Bogoblins wield sophisticated weapons created by an ancient and highly evolved civilization. If you are struck with a discharge from one of their electrical weapons, you may become paralyzed. If these creatures also wear the oh, these creatures all also wear the latest in Bokoblin fashion, which is a uh, neat undergarment. Though they do wear helmets, and I've defeated zero of this enemy. Uh, yeah, these enemies suck because uh, unlike other enemies, uh, if you mess up your swings, you're going to be having a little bit of trouble hitting them. Uh, actually, what I want to do the cool thing about this enemy is you can lead him out of the area. Like this. Oh, does he not? He should. Oh, no, you have to knock him out. Alright, we're gonna do that. We're going to... Scare him! And then he gets out, and that didn't work! And he's gonna die now, because I don't think I can hit him. Well, you know what? That was another fail, but you can knock them out if you're not kill them. Uh, to which point he will return to bones, and that, consider that considers his death, because there's no possible way for him to come back into this area. At least as far as I'm aware. So, uh, yeah, let's go talk to the little machine person we saved. Who's right over here? I will name him Joe. Hello, Joe! Thank you. If you hadn't come along, they would have sucked all of the electricity out of me. See, another thing that's really odd about this zone, and I will you know, commonly say, most people complain that this game is very childish in, in saying Wind Waker had a darker storyline. Um, it's not about being dark, but there are some pretty morbid parts about Skyward Sword. For example, they never directly say it, but a lot of these creatures very much hint at the fact that they can't really exist out of this zone and that they know they'd be dead. This one doesn't seem to, but future ones later, we, it seems like they know. But they're familiar with the idea that if they're not in a zone, they're pretty much useless and dead. And the worst part is, you can only have one time shift, time shift zone active in one area. Which is doubly awful, because as I explore, I'm basically killing them and bringing them back. It's just... it's awful! Anyway, you saw we just got an upgraded beetle, the hook beetle. Uh, not replacing the hook shot in our memories, but uh, it will provide us uses, though... It is not going to be latching onto those things we see there. Alright. All you have to do is hold down Z and then press A to drop an eye. Oh, he ran into the wall. What a little jerk. Alright. Well, we're going to aim at this one next. And go ahead and knock all these down. Knocking down these specific ones is more for a tutorial purpose than it is necessarily for progression. Uh, inside of them, each is going to be five rupees, which we do not need. But, uh, you know... After seeing Beetle's airshop ship a few times, uh, you know, it's it's pretty much needed at this point because you always want... I made that with a sliver of stamina. Okay, so to progress in this area as well as kill that monster, you're going to be using this Beetle, um, which is fairly simple. All you have to do is gr grab the... Angle yourself correctly and then grab the bomb go ahead and aim and kill this monster first because he's just gonna get in your way uh next up uh that one is something you do not need that will provide you an amber relic should you need one uh we will go ahead and not worry about it because i have plenty of amber relics and have not i don't have a need for it um if it bothers you so much that I'm leaving something behind, uh, just mention it in future episodes. I guess I'll get everything that I know about. Alright, so we go ahead and take this bomb. Le bomba! Me, 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 me. Le bomba! Me, 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 me. Le bomba! Boom. That's what I call an explosive performance. Alright, before we move forward, there is something I want to show off real quick. So if we make our way down this long path we want to have our net ready and over on this tree e kidding me the one time 
the one time I want to show this off, he's not here. Alright. Uh, there is a very rare bug found in the Lanayru Desert that is on trees many a time. And it is a Cincada. I'm not sure. A Desert Cincada, I believe it is. Uh, these are very rare bugs, and usually on my first playthrough, ru first run throughs through the Lanayru Desert, there's always one on that tree. Which is why I'm shocked that there isn't one on that tree. Um, a little weirded out, actually. I do not feel comfortable with my body anymore. Uh, my body is no longer ready. For cicadas, not not for other things. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our way forward. Uh, remember the strategy I always mention is to um, run, uh, to do a jump so you can get a little bit of a head start in the sand without wasting stamina. Now, these enemies up here are very familiar, if you look at it, to Kleptos. Which I always thought was kind of neat. You can't lock, seem to lock onto it, at least not from this distance. Oh my god, there was a sink. There's one over there. There is one right there. We're going to get it. Okay, the bird is right behind me. The bird is right behind me. Move faster, move faster, move faster, move faster. Eh, no! The bird! Oh my god, he killed the bug! Oh my god! That was awful. That poor bug, rest in peace! We'll name him... We'll name him... I don't know, we're not gonna name him. I didn't know him that well. That'd be awkward to name him on his grave. I don't want to deal with that pressure. Alright, so we're going to have to use the hook beetle to uh, get further here. All you got to do is use, is grab the bombs here. And uh, you're supposed to kill these creatures. And then use their shells on the sink sand, which we heard in Fee's bio. Because they don't sink. And you can stand on them, regenerate some stamina. As you can see, we would not be able to make these, these uh, long gaps on our own. Uh, you, you know, you're just in our way. I'll waste a bomb on you. And I, yeah, I meant waste. You are a waste of bombs. Uh, but he provided me a heart. And I'm a little low on hearts because of that boulder that, ki that killed Laneru ants. Woo! We got a Laneru ant. It said these store water deep in their nests, which is really neat. I believe we've already... No! Okay, yeah, we've already found Laneru ants, so uh, it's not a big deal. But, you know, more doesn't hurt. And he's in the quicksand. He can survive, though. He'll be fine. So uh, let's make our way over here and kill you, my good friend, with a bomb. As you can see, there is a goddess cube over there. We are definitely going to make our way over there. Look, he just they're perfectly aware that their death is coming whenever they see the beetle. Uh, before, it was just silly, but now now I can understand why creatures fear the beetle. Um, the most deadly weapon in the game is named after a guy who ran a ship. And, you know, I mean, we've all wanted to kill beetle. Uh, anybody who played Wind Waker, which I will not go over if you have not, uh, has wanted to kill Beetle in Wind Waker. Okay, so that's flown off now. Uh, we can go ahead and dig, dig here. It's just going to provide us some rupees on both sides. I believe this one's probably just going to provide a, a blue and then a nothing and then a blue. Or just one green. Okay, two greens. Oh, three greens? No, that was pretty bad. Uh, keep in mind that all dig sites are random, so you will not have too much uh, meta gaming in order to s basically understand. You can always reset if you really are grinding for rupees, but then again, you could also leave an area and come back, and things will be fine. Oh my god. Okay, come on. We can do it now. Running, running, running very fast. Running very fast. Okay. Shell, the, whenever you're on the shell, if it ever starts to go black, that means it's about to go away, and you should get your butt moving, because you don't want to be there when that happens. Alright, so we can go ahead and make our way over here, and we've hit a save spot, which is always useful. Uh, before we hit that save spot and end the episode, uh, one thing you always want to do is you want to make your way across this giant ledge, and on this side, I will provide you a shortcut. This shortcut will be used to basically bypass this entire desert area. Uh, if you miss the goddess cube, you will have to go through it one more time, but the goddess cube is fairly easy to get. I do not foresee anybody truly missing it unless you're deliberately going out of your way to miss the goddess cubes. Or you're just terrified of sand. 
you know, that's a possibility. I mean, the sand is quite morbid. Uh, I should um, note that the animation for drowning in sand is the same animation in Twilight Princess for drowning in lava. Which, ugh. That's, I, I mean, that animation and the great fairy in Twilight Princess are probably the only reasons that game was rated T for teen. All right. So I think we have a bit more of the desert to go, and in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we're going to make our way across the desert and complete our mission. Our mission? Wait a second. This is not a, not a game about missions. This is about the adventure. And we're nowhere near completing our adventure at this point, especially not at this rate. I've been playing this game for way too long on this channel. And I'll see you all next time to continue playing this game.